Hey, what's up? Hello and welcome. My name is Maya and today we have an episode of Whimsy Stories. And just like all my other series, I have been binge recording this. I know I said that I'll upload episode the last episode um, before I record this episode. So I'll get names, but I didn't. Luckily, you guys left me names on the episode before last. So I have names for the baby, but I have been like in a uh, sims mood and i wanted to capitalize on this like i have been wanting to play the sims nonstop all weekend so i recorded so many series and yeah the only downside is that i don't hear your feedback if you like the storyline so i'm kind of going in blind here um y'all all all could have hated the storyline last episode and told me to stop but i don't know and i'm someone that um worries a lot so i'm trying not to worry about it and trying to just record how i want to record which can also be liberating at the same time. Sorry for the rant in the beginning. If you're new here, I'm Maya. This is Whimsy Stories. This is Rue, our Whimsy Gen 1 heir. And I want to progress her story with her baby father and what happened last episode. Um, Yeah, right now she's out to eat at a restaurant because she's still in Del Sol Valley and she leaves today. But August basically texted her and invited her out to this restaurant here here he is now um she was sitting here waiting for him to show up he's like let's go here because i want to talk to you about what happened last night at the dinner party she's pregnant so let's order right away she's like i need to eat and i'm so scared she's going to give birth any second so i want to get them settled before they bring their third baby in um but we're here at the nigiri house Ooh. It's some cool drinks here. Plum soda. That sounds so good. Actually, let's give that to August and I, she'll get a hot sage tea because she misses sage so much. Oh, wait, we only got a drink. Is she hungry, though? Because if she's not hungry, she's not that hungry. So the drink is fine for now and it probably would come out quicker than some food. She's not happy about last night. She's watching him order and like she loves him dearly and all that. And if you didn't see August's new look, he cut his hair. Um, when he came to Delso Valley and shaved his beard. He looks so much younger without his yep. beard on and without his longer hair. But she wants to know what the hell was last night. So she's going to yell at him. Um, I don't know where she's going because, like, sis, you got things to do. But she's coming back. She's going to yell at him because she does love him, but he told her to leave and didn't really give her an explanation. And she's like, why did you tell me to leave? Why are you still married? what the hell is going on we have two kids together we're having our third kid and you have a wife and of course they're flirting right after because she can't see him for a second and not flirt but she's still mad at him so she's gonna argue with him some more um but august is trying to explain to her like you know what the situation is and she's arguing to him about music because it kind of involves that and i think we need to take a pause because August seems so evil because he was married and he didn't tell her, but there's more to the story than meets the eye. And I feel like that's what he's trying to tell her right now here at this dinner. So a little storytelling about what happened with August and why he is in Delso Valley. Why did he leave without telling Rue? All these things. And it has to do with his wife, Tess. When he met Rue and he told Rue that him and his wife were divorced, that is what he truly believed. They got into a huge argument because he wanted kids. She didn't want kids. And a little bit about their relationship. They met when they were kids and they became like this famous kid duo that would make music on Sims Tube. And they basically blew up from it. They were both from Brindleton Bay, both from like small town, both part of a family. And he can play instruments. She can sing really well. They made videos and really got famous from it. Ru- or his wife's name is Tess. Um, and Tess and him moved to Delso Valley with Tess's dad when he was a teen. And when they moved, they got really big in Delso Valley, but it was kind of like a toxic environment because he was not with his parents and Tess's dad is mean as hell. And he was their manager and basically worked them so hard. And he's the one that orchestrated the whole marriage. They got married like soon as they turned 18 to each other and like it blew up and the world loved it and they were famous and they were making music and they made so much freaking money. The issue was that first, August wanted to drop that life. He wanted to become a family man and he did love Tess very much, but Tess was like fame hungry like her dad. And when their personalities started to clash is when he decided, 
you know what? This isn't for me. I don't need to be famous. Like I know where I came from. And he sent divorce papers to Tess. Now, their lawyer called him and told him that the papers went through. They're divorced. Tess never signed the papers because one, she didn't want it to blow up in the tabloids. Two, she knows her dad will cut her off. And then when everything was settled, this was years ago, forgot all about Tess, thought he was divorced, moved on with Rue. Um, and then he gets a call from Tess saying that, you know, her dad wants an heir because her dad is getting sick and is expecting them to have a kid because he doesn't know that they're not together anymore. And she called panicking. He at first said he didn't care and that it was hers to deal with and that they're divorced. And then she said, no, we're not. And I'm not signing the divorce papers until you come to Del Sol Valley and continue pretending with me, which is why he's here. Now, he wants the divorce paper signed one thing, but he can always just sue and get that done. But Tess's family owns his family's home in Brindleton Bay now because his family. So we met September last episode, which is his sister. We met his mom and his dad because they the Tess's family owns his family's home. Tess was like, if you divorce me, I'm taking that home and your family is going to be homeless. Do you have the money to pay for a brand new home for them? I think not. So you better come and continue pretending with me. And she got pregnant through surrogacy without telling him. So yeah, that is not his baby. Tess is not a woman that he loves and he'd much rather be home with Rue and his kids, but he's doing this for the good of his family. And he's trying to explain that to her. And I know I explained everything right now, but he couldn't even get words out because she's yelling at him, which he has every right to do because, you know, he could have been honest. I, that's what I, I feel. I feel like, yes, that's crazy, but, and he's trying to explain it to her, but she's like, it doesn't matter. You should have told me and I would have backed you. I would have let you come to Delta Valley, continue this whole farce and your family would have been all right. And she's like, but now you had to lie to me and I had to come all the way here while nine months pregnant. To figure this out like do you know how terrible this pregnancy has been without you and she doesn't really want to hear his excuses um and august is trying to explain to her like you know what happened but she has to use the bathroom because you know she's pregnant um but she's the argument loser because she did assume that he was still with tess and he's trying to let her know like i'm not with tess anymore Literally, I've been sleeping at a hotel. I show up to her family's house every day. Her father's so old. He doesn't even, like, notice. And, yeah, that's that, That's really what happened. But he's at the point, he's like, you know, I'm going to lose my, my family over this. And, yes, I love my mom and dad, but are they worth my kids and my, and my girlfriend and her, the third baby we're about to have? And he really does want to make her a wife. And he's really, like... He's feeling guilty not being here for her and the kids and everything. So she's using the bathroom. I think before she returns to the table, she should, she can't calm herself down, but she could psych herself up. Like, it's okay, Rue, to be upset. This is like an upsetting thing. And I'm not saying she has to forgive August just because he explained the situation to her. But she knows that she's about to give birth and she knows how much the kids are missing him at home. So she's like, do I... Stay here in Delso Valley and wait for him to be done. Do I trust him to do what he has to do and get that divorce for himself? Because I'm about to give birth any second. Um, and I think it's time we add August back to the family. Because I did move him out because I didn't want him to be a part of the family. And be on vacation forever when he's just... Where are they sitting again? Oh, outside. I didn't want him to be a part of the vacation for so long and then waste all our money. But now that he explained the story to her, I am going to add him back to the family because I do want to control him. Um, so, yeah, add him back to the family. Let's see what he's thinking. Of course, he's very flirty because he just loves Ruth so much. And he does have the good traits. So he he's trying to be good. Try to explain what's happening. Let's look at his relationships. As you can see, he has red with Tess. Tess is his wife that he needs to get a divorce from. And I think that's what we're going to do this episode is basically he's like agreeing with Rue. He should have never kept it a secret. He should have never been like so secretive about it. Let's open the sim profile. He perceives her as very unattractive or as unattractive. I did not do that. Um, and he has a festering grudge about her and it's hard for him to forgive the past. And she's jealous, self-absorbed, mean, ambitious, and a music lover. <laughs> And he's like, you know what? Forget that. I'm I'm about to leave. Ivan is his dad. He is close to um, William Mills, who is uh, Tessa's dad. Just because, like like I said, he raised him in Delso Valley. 
And yeah, but he's kind of like, you know what? Rue is right. We have to settle this now. And Rue's kind of feeling like hitting. Like his parents don't even know he had kids. And the reason he didn't tell his parents is because his parents, he loves them dearly. But in their head, they think Tess is perfect. And they think that the relationship they had is perfect. And he kind of just didn't want to break them heart, their heart. He didn't know like what to do but he wants to make another sim happy and i think he really wants to make rue happy um and the one way he can make her happy is by dropping everything with tess and showing the world that he cares about her and her only so he's gonna declare his love to her like i do love you so much rue he's like i love you and she's like that's horrible she's really like not failing him She's like, I don't want you to tell me just here in private that you love me. You need to go explain it to Tess that you love me. So we're going to give up this table. Extend it for another day. We're going to leave soon. I'm going to cancel and end the vacation. I know it's going to bring us home, but I'll come back to Del Sol Valley because she was leaving today anyway, and I don't want to spend the money. I'll come back to Del Sol Valley, and we'll end back up at Tess's house to basically... Tell her what it is. All right, we're here at the dinner party and I wanna introduce you or reintroduce you some characters that we met last episode because this is the take two of the dinner party and this is what August should have done last episode and he knows that now. But this right here is his dad, Ivan Hyde. Um, his dad is the one that agreed with Big Bill. That's what they call Tess's dad because his name is William, but they just call him Big Bill. Um, he agreed with Big Bill to move August when he was a child to Del Sol Valley. So, yep, that's his dad. He's not a bad guy, but yeah, he made some bad decisions. This is his mom, Cecilia. She's like a traditional woman. So when her husband was like, yeah, August is going to move to Del Sol Valley and become a musician, she had her, she didn't want to send him, but she knew that, first of all, August really wanted to go, but he was a child. And, um, her husband was like, it's a good opportunity for him. So she let him go. This is September, who is August's younger sister. She's definitely the sp like the spunky one in the whole family. She's never liked Tess, never liked the idea that her brother had to move to Del Sol Valley. She's only like a year under him or no, she's younger than him. I want to say maybe three years younger than him. And she knew it was a bad idea to send him and didn't want to lose her brother. This is Tess, who is August's current wife and the one that he moved to Del Sol Valley with. Look at the little A on her necklace. She's such a fraud. She knows that the baby's not his and she's lying to her father. And August wants to call her out on it this episode. This is Big Bill. He's old and sad and he's going to go soon. And he's like, where are my grandchildren? So yeah. And he was also very like mentally abusive and emotionally abusive to both Tess and August growing up. Like it was not easy work, um, being, being celebrities here in Del Sol Valley, but August is telling her, his dad, like, this is my true future wife. This right here is Rue. She's had your grandkids and you should meet her. And they're going up to take care of the baby. They were like, we're not sitting at this this table. Wow, I wasn't aware that you felt so strongly about Rue. She seems like good company. I'll chat with her soon. So he's agreed to introduce himself. He's introducing his mom to her too. September already knows um, her. But he's like, yeah, these. this is my wife. She's had two of my kids. And um, I spoke with Rue and I find her quite pleasing. Yay. But he's going up now to argue with August and Tess. Um, oh, <laughs> August tried to introduce Cecilia, um, but they didn't really get along. But anyway, he's going upstairs to let him know, like, I don't like what you did to me growing up. I don't like that. And she's coming up too to cheer him on. Like, yes, tell him the truth, August. Tell him that I'm really the one that had your kids. I didn't tell her to come up here. That's funny. He's going to go yell at Tess too. This is really his turn, his chance to get out all his years of frustration. He was a child when he moved here and he was not the best to him. And I love that Big Bill is feeling scared because he's like all of his hard work, argue about morals, argue about career. Like he's the complete opposite of you. And he basically treated you terribly growing up. That's why when Rue gave him the guitar, he was so like overwhelmed by it. Um... And the reason he was overwhelmed by it is because he used to make 
Tess and August practiced for hours as children. Like his fingers used to get cuts on it and bleed. And they always had to do performances. He never got to go to school. And it was a lot on him. And seeing that guitar, getting that guitar from Rue brought all those memories back. All the memories he tried to try to get rid of. And this right here is the guitar I'm talking about. He was basically like, you know, that, that was like the worst experience of his life. And I don't even think Bill Bill, Big Bill realizes like what he did to both August and Tess. Tess wasn't treated nicely either. Kind of why she turned out so mean. But that doesn't excuse how Tess treated him and like the ultimatum that she gave him. And don't worry, she will get, she will get what's due to her. We're going to argue about his parenting too. Like his parenting te techniques were terrible the way that he got treated. But he wants to really divorce Tess and let his family know like that's over. I'm going to marry Rue. And Rue is um sad from meeting Cecilia and not liking her. I want to... I want to know. They don't have any sentiments, but they do have a little red bar. But her and Ivan get along really well, um, which is cool. They're already like friends. She has an okay, like an acquaintance with September. But my goal is that hopefully through the generation, we'll get to know them more. Oh, we can ask for blessing to Mary. Oh, but she's not going to ask Cecilia. She'll ask Ivan for blessing because Ivan actually likes her. And food is actually getting finished, which is great because they're starving. But I think, do we have any pictures of the kids? We do. We should give them pictures of the kids and be like, these are your grandchildren. Maybe if we give um, Cecilia a picture, she'll like us again. And I don't know what's going on with Cecilia's face. She has some CC that's messing up, but it's fine. Maybe she has just like birthmarks on her face. It's fine. But the girls are in here talking and she's like trying to figure out what she likes. I'm sorry. I know it's cheaty, but I need to cheat her bladder because it's not messing with the storyline. And I want her to give her the pictures. I don't have time because I'm scared that Rue is going to go into labor and I don't want that to happen. So let's give her a gift and we'll give her the pictures of the kids and be like, they're older now. Um, they're so big and this is a large one and it's outstanding quality. So let's give her this one and be like, these are your grandchildren. Jackson, I know you were excited to have a grandbaby, but he's not yours. And I know that's probably why you're so upset because I feel like Cecilia did like Tess and she liked the idea of having a grandchild. And she's like, listen, this is your true grandchildren. And here's a picture of them. Did she like it? No, she didn't like it. Oh, she's like, that's stupid. Listen, a picture's not anything. How do I know they're really mine? Really my grandchildren after this mess. Can we at least take a photo with her? I wonder if she'll accept taking a photo with us because I feel like Rue is going to want to go home and show the kids their grandparents and they finally have family. They only had Zara and Samira their whole life and now they have a biological grandma and a biological grandfather and an aunt and that's a lot. Aw, yeah, her face is so messed up from whatever is like clipping with her CC, but I don't have the mood to change it. All right, let's get this picture with her and we'll give it to all, um Sage and Savannah when we get home. Did that bring up their friendship? It did a little bit. Okay, she maybe she's like, you're going to show them me and like a little happy that Rue is accepting the family. Let's get a picture with Ivan as well. And then we need to have this one divorce Tess. And they were up here too. Where is she? Probably to take care of her baby. But Tess, it's time that we divorce you. I don't even think we need to explain it to her, but we are going to chew her out a little because it was kind of manipulative. Not kind of. It was very manipulative. So we're going to divorce her um, after we chew her out. And look, Ivan's coming too. Or not Ivan, Big Bill. He's like, Tess, why'd you lie? You had this baby with a surrogate and you wanted to tell me that it was with your husband. Oh, I forgot I loaded this up. Let's get this picture quickly. Oh, well, maybe we can do a different pose. Now that we have like new poses, <laughs> I think her and I even get along really well. And I think that's cute. And they became good friends, but he's chewing out Tess. Like, I can't believe you, you made me do all this and all this first, just because you wanted to get what's owed to you by your father. Your father shouldn't even hold a baby over your head. And as you can see, they still did have a little green bar. So he still like cared about her. And he's like, just wake up Tess. Like that's your money. We worked hard growing up. Your dad only booked things for us. He did not do all the singing. He did not get all the fans and you are owed this money. Your son is owed this money. And he does hope that she gets it one day, but it can't be through him and it can't be through this marriage. So he's like, you need to sign the papers. And she's like, fine, I'll sign them. I'll sign them. You already told the whole world that we're not together. And look, and now she's crying. She's like, I'm losing everything. And you have no like empathy for me. And she is really hurt. 
But at the end of the day, and he's sad too because not necessarily was he like still in love with her. It's a sad event in any Sim's life to get a divorce. And he kind of, and he has festering bitterness towards her, but he kind of knows like it is going to change her life. She's still in the celebrity like limelight. People still keep up with her life. And now she has to explain why she has a baby and why August divorced her. And he's like, listen, if you want to make me the bad guy to the public, I don't care. I already know you and your father would spin the story. However you see fit. But at the end of the day, I'm choosing my family. And I love that for August, um, especially like if you know how he grew up, he never got a chance to say how he felt. He just followed along with what Big Bill said to do. And he got to stand up to both of them this episode. And he has Rue to thank for that. So he's going to go down there and ask her, is the baby going to come soon? Um, because they need to travel back home and he wants to have the baby at home. They are hungry, though. And there's a lot of food here. Would it be like, G or not TD, but like Rue to take some of this food home? But everyone's eating over here. Oh, we forgot to get a picture with September for the kids. They're going to think it's so cool. They have a cool aunt. But yeah, we're going to take a picture with her. Plus, I want um, Rue to have a good relationship with them. Take photo with September. And then we are going to... Where's Ivan? I want to ask him. Oh, and she's starving. She needs to eat now. Let's grab a serving. But where's Ivan? Because I want to ask him for blessing to marry... Yes. Okay. He's right here. Good. And then we have to invite them over to the wedding. I think we're going to do the wedding in the backyard. I keep forgetting to change September's teeth. Can we get a picture of her not smiling until I get it together? Oh, that's cute. <laughs> that's cute. We're going to act like she's not getting these pictures right when August is getting a divorce. We're going to act like they've been here for like maybe two weeks now. And they got pictures at a different location. But we're going to ask um, Ivan for blessing to Mary. And Tess is just down here like, this is so awkward now. But don't worry, we're going to leave soon because I want Ruth to give birth. And I want her to be home comfortable with her kids when she goes into labor. But she's going to leave like, Ivan, you're coming to the wedding, right? You, September, and Cecilia are coming, right? Because she knows that now they're going to get married. It's just about if August is going to ask her. And he doesn't want to ask her right now when he's so sad from signing those divorce papers and basically exposing the whole fraud that is Tess in his life. And he's still sad about it, but hopefully he gets over it soon, which I think he will. Because I want him to propose tomorrow because tomorrow is Father's Day. And I think that would be so cute if he proposes tomorrow. And we'll probably get married next episode. The kids are going to be teens. What? Oh my goodness. We are moving along in this challenge and I don't even think we're done. So yeah. Can you hurry up and ask for a blessing to Mary so we can go home before you like give birth? Yeah, because she gives birth in question mark, question mark, question mark. I'm scared. Don't give birth. And I know what I'm going to name this next baby. Thanks for all the name suggestions. But he's, she's asking him for permission to marry and if he's going to come to the wedding. And he's like, yes, of course, Rue. Oh, that's so sweet. He's like, of course, Rue. We'll come as soon as my knucklehead son. Why does, why do they have pink bar? I freaking hate this game. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Bye now. No matter what series you watch of mine, because that wasn't even a flirty interaction. All she did was ask for permission to marry. That was it. So, yeah. All of that, we're getting rid of. All these sentiments, all of that. Because it's just, it's very unrealistic. Like, that's not what happened. Yeah, remove it. Now he perceives her as unattractive. No, I need to fix that. Because we know he seems sees her as extremely attractive. But, wait, why is he saddened by her? Oh, no. We're moving that. And he still perceives her as unattractive. No, no, no. I'm going to fix that because that's not true. And we're going to ignore the fact that they have pink bar now because my game is completely broken when it comes to flirting. And yeah, now she's going to hug him again. Oh, oh. And now Cecilia is mad too because she saw it too. Oh, no. Uh, now she's definitely going to hate Rue. That's, this is, this is annoying. And now they're hugging again. But I think that one was a friendly hug. I don't freaking know. But we're going to head back to Evergreen Harbor. Our time in Delso Valley has officially came to an end. We figured out what was going on with August. And August finally stood up to Big Bill and Tess. And basically was like, you know what? 
I'm signing the divorce papers and you guys can't do anything about it. He doesn't know what's going to happen to his parents' house, but honestly, that's not for him to worry about. His parents should never even send him to Delso Valley as a kid. And he let his parents know like they technically own the house. And now that we're divorced, I don't know what they're going to do to your house or if you're going to be able to stay there or whatnot. And they have a beautiful home in Burns Olson Bay. So yeah, but that's probably why Cecilia's mad because they're losing out on their house maybe. And she feels like it's Rue's fault, but hopefully they patch it up in the future. Anyway, we're going to head back home because I want to give birth. Um, I think I'm going to pick back up whenever she decides to go into labor and we could bring in their third baby. And I think I want to do some skill building this episode and probably the proposal tomorrow if they're filling up to it. But yeah, we'll pick back up whenever Rue decides to drop this baby. All right, she's in labor. Finally, it's the next day and Savannah's helping her in the garden, which is so freaking cute. I love it. I freaking love it. Where are you going? Oh, you're going to work on some woodworking. I wanted you to spray this area for bugs, but she's in labor, which is exciting, but she's too uncomfortable to this. Oh, that's why she stopped. Sage is sleep in his bed. He's fine though. He can get up. Maybe you can experiment or maybe do a health potion. He's probably like, I want to help mom. She's all sad because she's in labor. And where are you? You're all the way over here. Come back home, Kaya. Please, August was taking her for a walk, so it's not like we really neglected her. Um, let's fill and call Kaya to eat because she's clearly probably hungry like us. But I'm so happy to be back home. I missed this house so much and I'm so happy like all my sims are back. He's coming home to shower and work on a gig. He's all dirty from taking a jog with August. Zara's back in her house. We moved her out. Um, so everything is back right and today's Father's Day. I don't know what I want to do for it. He keeps going on and on about being sad. Like he'll be sad one moment, happy the next, sad one moment, happy the next, which I think he's like kind of like sad, but like happy. See, like now he's um, going through inspired and he's probably like inspired because he's gonna ask Rue to marry him today, which is exciting. Samir is over as well, which is cool. Um, Samir and August are good friends. I already know I want to do their wedding in the backyard. Um, oh, is he leaving? Okay, that's fine if he's leaving. Um, I know I want to do their wedding in the backyard and I'm going to make like Samir and Zara part of the wedding. I might have Ivan officiate. I'll have the kids be flower pals. It's going to be so cute. Oh, speaking of Ivan, Ivan is like, I need to see my grandbabies now. You said I have grandchildren. Where are they? Oh my goodness. Oh, he wants to be best friends with Rookie. <laughs> He's like, ah, you're so cool. I'm going to say, of course, just because I don't want them to have a negative relationship. And is he going now? I don't think he is. Maybe he's leaving because I wanted to introduce him to the kids. Can we talk about other Sims with him? We can only ask about another Sim to him. And he doesn't know Sage. I wonder if August has to like talk up at other Sims. I love that we're pretending if Rue is not in labor right now. Okay, you guys need to come in here and meet your grandfather. I was going to talk you guys up, but just come in here and meet them. He's going to give his grandfather a respectful introduction. And who are you talking with? You just randomly make friends. Like, look, she's talking through to somebody through the freaking pen, like the fence. And she's, she's so social. I love Savannah so much. Like, but girl, come in here. And she's like making her laugh. She's so funny. And he's laughing like, oh, you're giving birth. Give him a respectful introduction. Come in here and talk to your grandfather. And she's riled up from so socialization. Of course she is. But they're going to come in here and meet their grandfather. How exciting. Oh, he gave him a like nice little respectful introduction. He's like, hi, I am Sage. <laughs> I feel like Sage is so awkward. Like, hi, I think I'm supposed to be close with you because you're my grandfather, but I don't know you. Oh, it's Father's Day. No wonder he's over. Let's give him a gift. Give him a Father's Day gift. This is your grandfather. Oh, and we could give him the picture of them. They have like a lot of pictures that I took off camera of them. We can give him small prints. I want the uh, medium oh, prints, fine, because no, we have two of those. So we're going to give him a gift. Do you have any pictures you can give your grandfather? And Rookie's having the baby. I was trying to hold off, but she's having the baby in the background. This is so awkward. But we're having their final baby, hopefully their final baby. I think I'm going to put her on birth control. We just don't have room for more kids in this house. But she wants to give him a Father's Day gift as well. Um, and she's going to give him a picture because they're not, or maybe she can give them a, sh a shell. All right. And we have the baby and it's a boy. We knew that. And I like the name Oakley and I'm going to call him Oak. 
who was who gave me that name let me check that was n left to me by louisa louisa left the names leaf oakley and autumn um if we had a girl, I would have done Autumn because it's close to August. Um, but Oakley, I really, really like. And I like the nickname Oak or Oaky. Um, when I was a toddler teacher, I had um, a student with the name Oak. And he was the cutest little baby. He was so chubby. Um, he's probably like seven now. He's probably like so old. But anyway, I like the name Oak. So we had Oakley. And we're going to give a tulip shell to her grandfather as a gift. And look, look, a baby, a baby. I think I'm going to move the baby outside so we could show off the baby to Ivan because, you know, he came here to see this baby. Hold on. Hurry up and finish having the baby so I can move it. You, my love, can you please feed Oakley? And Savannah's giving her fa our grandfather a Father's Day gift. Like, happy Father's Day, Grandpa. How cute. He's like, for me? Aw, the kids are so cute. They love their grandpa. I don't think you gave your gift. Come give your gift, Sage. Oh, and she's sick? Good thing we made the health potion. He can give it to his sister. Always taking care of her. That's so cute. But let's give um, Ivan the Father's Day gift. I said I would give him a medium print. And then he can give his sister the medicine. She needs a medicine. All right, let's give her a friendly gift. Do we have the health potion? Yeah, give her the health potion. She needs it. But Sage is always taking care of Savannah, I feel like. And he's like, you're sick? Here, take this. Aw, he's giving her the gift. And she's like, medicine? Are you sure it's not a trick? Let's see if we drink this. Does she feel better? All right, you, my love. Let's move your baby outside so you can show it off to your dad. Let's show off to Ivan. Little Oak. Oh, no, he's leaving. I think he left, so we can't. Or maybe he's coming back. Please come back so you can see your grandson. He is. He's like, all right, all right. I'll come back just to see Oak. But then I gotta go. He's like, look, this is your grandson. He's screaming right now, but he's cute. I promise. And now he's leaving. That's cute. All right, let's change his dirty diaper. He's probably like, it's cold out here. Bring me back in the house and cuddle him. All right. Um, they have gigs to work on, but hers is not due until Wednesday and his is due on Tuesday. So I'm going to have them go out and celebrate his birthday or not his birthday, his um, father's day. Let me clean this. I think we're going to go to the park and just barbecue there. The one that we had the twins birthday at and it'll be like a nice little father's day celebration i really wish we can bring baby oak but we can't because the sims 4 doesn't let you kids anywhere maybe no actually oh look she made little people and it's her and her brother savannah made this hold on savannah put this in your inventory and give your dad this before he leaves because i was gonna say actually i think i'm gonna have rue and him go on a romantic date somewhere and so he can propose to her um, but yeah, let's give him his Father's Day gift and we'll give him the little per people that he she drew and it's her and her brother with their black hair. I think that's so cute. I love that she's coming out like, Dad, I got you a gift. He's so happy to be home with his kids and around his family. He's not even thinking about that stupid divorce with Tess. But he loved the gift that she gave him. That's so cute. Let's quickly use the bathroom. They're both a little tired, so we're not going to make it a long date, but... Yeah, we're definitely going to go out, probably to the caboose, because it's right here in town. And yeah, we're going to propose. I'm excited about. All right, we're here on our date with Rue, and they're both in a flirty mood, which is really cute. Rue's all dressed up. August is all dressed up. And I think let's order the food first. Why is she, why is she cursing? All right, she's finally not pregnant, so she can enjoy some wine. And he's going to get some wine, of course because it is a special occasion. He's finally gonna ask her to marry him, which she has been waiting on a ring since episode seven. Like, really, a cricket's meal? I feel like Rue would eat that nasty meal. So let's get her a cricket's meal. Or actually, if we get a grub dog, would it be counted as um, they have to eat grilled food for Father's Day? I wonder if that would be counted. I think that's the only one that is a grill food so we're gonna get august it as well so he can like cross that off hopefully it works let's order that for now all right we need to have a deep conversation i love the music that plays in this restaurant it's like so good we're gonna have a deep conversation with him oh they're being so cute as always i love them but she's being thankful for him i imagine it's been like maybe two months since he divorced tess so 
They're ready to move on. He's going to compliment her appearance and express fondness for her. He's so fond of her. He loves her so much. We're already at silver level date. They love each other so much. I don't even know if our food is ever going to come out. If it doesn't come out by 10, which I doubt it will, we will um, ask her to marry us before we get our food. But I wanted us to get our food. Like, are you making our food back there? Wherever the kitchen is? I don't even think the chef is in the kitchen. Like, who's the chef? Just left the food burning there. All right, gold level already. Still no food. I wonder if she'll let him declare love publicly now. Last time she closed her ears, and this time she's, like, accepting it. So cute. And I don't think he's ever played the guitar for her. So, can we serenade her? Yeah, let's serenade her. He's not dropping the ball this time. He's like, you will get your ring, Rue. Trust me. Come on, why didn't you do it? Where's your guitar? I was gonna say. Aww. This is the first time he's ever played a guitar for her. She's never heard him play music. And he's so good. But she helped him like move past his trauma. Like it was a traumatic childhood and like he couldn't really even touch a guitar and now he's picking up a guitar again. This is so beautiful, you all. I think he's ready to ask her to marry him. I'm like tearing up because I feel like they were really just men for each other. And he's so happy that he found her and that they both ended up homeless and seeing my shoe note together. And everything led to this moment right here. And he's going to ask her to be his wife. Finally, finally, finally. And I think their food is even coming. Get out. Talk about perfect timing. <laughs> I'm so happy for them. I'm going to let him serenade her because they have all the time in the world now. Wow, that was beautiful. Wow, I'm so happy for them. After they eat, he will be proposing to her. They're going to enjoy their grub dogs and their wine. All right, their meal is done. Time to propose. All right, let's propose to her. Okay, he's about to propose to her. We got to like document this because she has been waiting waiting for a ring oh oh i think we'll end the episode off here they are officially engaged next episode i'm determined it's going to be the wedding and i want it to be a nice and beautiful wedding they're gonna probably have it in their backyard and do like a little backyard wedding i've never done one in the sims and now with my wedding story i would love to do one in their backyard i think they have a beautiful backyard i just have to put away some furniture to make room that being said, I will be playing some days off camera because I want Oki to be a toddler so he can come to the wedding. Also, I need to like ask everyone to be different parts of the wedding and I might do like the wedding cake and get the wedding cake and all this other. I want it to be a nice and big and beautiful wedding. Not big, but like beautiful at least in their backyard. So it's going to take me some time. But luckily I, re I pre-recorded episodes so I can get some episodes out to you while I'm getting it ready. But yeah, I'm so excited. They're officially engaged and it was a long journey, but they're here. Let me know what you think of August and Rue's story. Believe it or not, we're almost at the end of this generation because she's a level nine in wellness and fabrication level eight in handiness and those are the three skills we need to max out we'll probably max out wellness and handiness or wellness and fabrication before next episode um and probably just be finishing up handiness next episode the wedding episode and her aspiration she's on the last tier of that so yeah we're moving along we're almost done with this challenge and that's crazy I can't believe it. And then we get to move on to Sage's generation, which I'm so excited about. Let me know, though, what you're thinking about Gen 1 and how it's ending. We're not done yet. The wedding may not even be the last episode. We may have one more after that. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. But um, yeah, I'm having so much fun this um, challenge, and I hope you are still enjoying it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now. <laughs>